IronCAD has made improvements to its sheet metal design, specifically on dropping bends onto your stock. In previous versions, when you go to the catalog to drop bends onto stock, you had to be very precise and hit an edge. And when you ply on that edge, it drops on the edge and goes in the direction of your camera. For this case, it dropped and went up. If we wanted to go the opposite direction, you would have to hit the opposite edge, which we can't see in this case. To give you an example, if I drop on this edge, it will go up. If I drop on this edge, which is very thin sheet metal part, if I drop on the bottom, it will go down. This made it very difficult, especially in large assembly files when you have thin sheet metal parts. What we've done is basically made it a lot easier. You can now drop anywhere near the edge that you want to apply and release, and it will automatically snap and position itself to that edge. For example, if I drop over here, it'll snap to the edge nearest to where my cursor was located. If I wanted to reverse the direction, instead of going up, I can select on the arrow and change its direction to go down. So this makes it easier for me to quickly drop and change directions without having to zoom in or find particular edge, edges that I'm looking for. You can also use the, the same behavior that you had before. If you want to be precise, hit a center point on an edge, you can still do the same behavior. But we allow this new behavior to make it a lot faster and easier to change your drop locations and to change the directions after your sheet metal bends have been applied. Enjoy.